Hey everyone, it's Project SBC and I'm back today to do a review video on the Limink S13 triple monitor setup. A big thanks to them for sending this over for review. All thoughts and opinions are my own. This is kind of like an entry series product to triple monitor setups. This company offers a couple of other products with bigger screens and thinner bezels. So, you know, there's kind of a range of stuff you can pick from. In this video, I am going to go over what this product has to offer. We're going to go over what you get in the box. We'll look at some of their other products. We'll go over power draws on the monitors themselves. We're going to cover a lot. So stick around. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. We have the monitor set up right here. And we got this little foam padding on top. And we're going to pull this out now. Uh, disclaimer, I did open this before and I did set it up to make sure that it did work. But now we're going to go through what's in the box. So here is the main device and we got a bunch of cables underneath. And we also have a little manual. You get two USB-C to C cables. You get two USB-A to C cables to provide power. And you also get some mini HDMI to regular HDMI cables. They also sent over a little carrying case here and let me open that up real quick and let's see how it fits the device itself. So yeah, just like a laptop bag. So it is nice that this thing folds up really nicely, kind of like into a portable monitor size. And yeah, it opens up like this to go around your monitor screen. On the back, we do have a kickstand, and this is really meant for devices that need some help supporting it. The framework laptop that I am going to use doesn't need it because it does have very strong hinges. And on each side of the device, there are three ports. The top one is going to be for powering the monitor and supplying video. Middle is going to be the mini HDMI port. And the last one's going to be the power delivery pass-through port. And to install it on your computer, you know, just get your laptop ready and then grab the monitors from the back side, extend it, and then make sure that the top silver corner pieces get on the monitor. And then there's two down on the bottom as well. Let's make sure that those latch on correctly. Now, this is a framework laptop and the hinges are excellent on it. And it doesn't need any additional support. There is a kickstand on the back that I did show you that will support it in case your monitor needs a little bit of help. Now we can just connect the monitors. So I've got the USB-C plugged in on the left side and let's get the other one on the other side plugged in. And yeah, now we've got both monitors set up. Now we need to set it up in Windows. So we are gonna go to display settings and we're gonna check and see where all of our monitors are by hitting identify. And then we're gonna drag and reorganize them until it's the way we want. And now we're ready to use our triple monitor setup. I did want to talk about power draw on these and this is at 50% and we're looking at around six to seven watts of power usage. And if we drop the brightness down to zero, we are going to be around five watts. And if we bump it up to a hundred, we're going to be around eight to nine watts of power. So yeah, I do expect that this is going to drain your battery a bit. But there is a way to combat the power draw and I've got a power adapter here in front of me. And on the side here, you're going to notice that there's another USB-C port. And that's actually a power delivery pass-through port. And if I plug that in, we're actually going to see that the framework laptop is going to start charging. And if I throw on my little USB-C power meter, we're going to see that it's drawing 60 watts. So the battery is now charging and we're actually doing that right through the monitor. And we can do the same thing on the other side. And this is really cool because my framework laptop only has two USB-C modules and I can use both of them and I can charge my device at the same time. And even if your device only had one and you used an HDMI on the other side, you could still use that one USB-C port to charge your device through the monitor. As far as resolution goes, they are 1080p, but you can downscale them quite a bit. There's quite a few options. For angle adjustments, the left one is a little bit limited, but you really don't want it any more than this. And of course, the right hand side doesn't really have any issue. This triple monitor setup really is designed for productivity setup. And I have Visual Studio open right here. When I do programming, I usually like to have at least two monitors and a third one definitely is a bonus. So yeah, this is definitely great for programming. And if you wanted to do something else on one of the other monitors, like play some YouTube, you could certainly do that as well. Let's talk about the negatives. The bezels are a bit big. I know this is an entry product and they have more expensive ones with near bezel-less displays. 
and then not really a negative, but I kind of wish they could have made it a single monitor setup. So you see right here with the kickstand open, we've got the back of one of the monitors. It would have been cool if they could have designed it so that you could use it as like a single portable monitor folded, and then you could unfold it to make it the triple monitor setup. Another cool thing is, is you don't necessarily have to hook the monitor up to the laptop it's attached to. And in this case, I have the right monitor hooked up to my One X Fly. I'm doing some gaming on here. And you can do the same thing on the other side. If you wanted to have different devices running different things, and you had some sort of like KVM switch or a mouse with a little button on it, you could switch between them. You could certainly have that kind of setup as well. Overall, I really enjoyed this product as a programmer who does like to take a laptop on the go. Being able to have a three monitor setup really helps with programming, especially if you have access to a charger. If you do have to run this on battery, if I'm running this laptop at 10 watts TDP, this is going to increase my power usage by 50%, each one taking five watts at zero brightness. That's a lot of power usage and it will drain your battery. I will leave a link to their store down below and you can check out their other products, even the ones with thinner bezels or meant for larger laptops. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe and thanks for watching.